Hi, I'm sorry not to be with you tonight. I send greetings from the land of the free and the home of the brave, where as you can see, it's a, a typical Wellington day with clear blue skies and sunshine. The university that I studied at in Aberdeen was about as far away as it's possible to be from the University of Canterbury. The motto of Aberdeen University is the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It was founded in 1495, but one of the things it is uh, famous for as a footnote in history is as the site of the first led student-led Christian group in history. It was led by a man called Henry Scougal, and they used to meet in a tree. Now, I'm not sure if it was quite a small group or if it was a very big tree, but it's good to know that from the earliest days, student-led student ministry involved going out on a limb. Sorry for that dad joke there. Henry Scougal um, is commemorated in a, a plaque on the wall at King's College, which is the oldest part of the university. He went back to teach New Testament, and while he was there, wrote a book called The Life of God in the Soul of Man, which was written to explain the Christian faith to an unbelieving friend in 1677. The following year, at the age of 28, he was dead from TB. The book continued to be read and was read by, among others, George Whitfield, who said that he never understood true religion before reading Scougal's book. Whitfield went on to be a central figure in the Great Awakening with the Wesleys and preached to more than 10 million people on both sides of the Atlantic. University mission and ministry is about multiplication. God works in and through people in ways beyond what we can imagine. This has been the story of IFES through history, working with students who have gone on to work with others in ways that have impacted nations, the church, and indeed the world for eternity. The group at Canterbury University was one of the founding groups of the first InterVarsity Conference in 1936 that became the the uh, InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. We recently had Stuart Lang at our staff training conference. His thesis on the early history of InterVarsity has been published as a book called The Rising Tide. He really comments on the synergy between vibrant student ministry and the growing evangelical church in New Zealand. It was a great encouragement to hear him say how clearly he could see how TSCF today resonates with the same vision and values of those early years. Our DNA of true witness, undivided life, deep thought and global reach are embedded in the way that we think about student ministry and indeed the way we think about life. Those strands of cross-centred evangelism, biblical discipleship, Christian thinking and world mission weave together things that are absolutely of primary importance to TSCF and indeed to the church in New Zealand today. The work at Canterbury is thriving and is characterised by a great diversity of church connection and commitment. Much of this is due to the great staff team and the high quality student leaders in CE. Mark and Renee Santich have done a great job and I really appreciate their commitment over 15 years. Tonight is a celebration of them as well. And it's appropriate that Mark Grace is here who has shared gospel partnership with them through the highs and lows during the time they have been in Aotearoa. Uh, perhaps Mark can give them a hug. I... Perhaps not. I started talking about the motto of Aberdeen. The motto of Canterbury University is harder to discern, but it goes alongside the unofficial shield saying, ergo tua rura manebant, meaning therefore may your fields prosper or may your fields remain unto you. A better motto for the work of the gospel in the university 
that had the theme of fields would be the fields are white to the harvest. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest field. And pray too that students around New Zealand today would indeed know that ancient truth, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, that the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. And we want to produce a new generation of influence who have joined up faith and understand how the gospel relates to culture and the Bible applies to every area of life. We celebrate 80 years. We look to the past with thankfulness. We live in the present by faith and we face the future with hope. Thank you for your partnership in the gospel. We will need it more in the years ahead. So I pray tonight is a blessing to you and I pray that TSCF goes on being a blessing to generations of students. And as those students graduate, a blessing to the church and to society and indeed to the ends of the earth. Mana akatiya mai. Ah, te aroa.